Hello everyone, uh, in the second assignment of the week, we are going to talk about how to identify medians, altitudes, angle bisectors, and perpendicular bisectors. Uh, we are working on IXL, the assignment is M3, so let's just first briefly talk about what these mean. First of all, median, a median is when we have a segment or a line or a ray the key point is it should start either one of these corners like let's say it starts from vertex A and then if my line ray or a line segment cuts the opposite side such as side BC in health that's called the median so in here let's say this is point D if BD and DC are equal, then AD is called a median. This right here is called a median. Now, let's just give an example for altitudes. That's basically a height of a triangle. So let's say we have this triangle over here, but how do we tell whether we have the height or not? Like how, how, how do we figure that out? Once again, we start from one of the corners, and then we are going to draw the perpendicular to the opposite side, such as from X to side YZ. If this is perpendicular, it doesn't need to cut the YZ in two equal pieces. They could be totally different. Uh, the only thing that matters is the segment should be perpendicular to a base. In here, uh, let's see it. Let's say that's xt. This would be an example uh, of an altitude. Here's another example for angle bisectors. I believe everyone would know what this one would look like. Uh, here is a random triangle. If I have a line or a segment or a ray that cuts one of these angles, such as this angle, in two equal pieces, Let's say I have a ray, or it can be a line as well, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's say this point is E, this point is F. If line EF cuts the angle F in equal two pieces, which means like this right here and that right here, then EF is called an angle bisector. angle bisector. Lastly, uh, let's see, we have a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisectors, we are looking for something perpendicular like the altitude plus it's going to be a bisector. It is going to cut the side in two equal pieces. It, it's not just going to be a 90 degrees. For example, let's say, let me just do this. Let's say I have this triangle right here. Uh, if this is perpendicular, then it is called an altitude. If it also cuts the side in half, like this right here, then xy is called a perpendicular bisector. That's just a brief overview of what we are dealing with in this assignment. Okay, let's get back to our question and see what it is about. Uh, we have two angles because this sign means angle. If two angles are congruent, then we are talking about angle bisectors. Only if one angle is cut in half. Let's just uh, see the figure and see what two angles these are. W, V, X. Angle W, V, X is right here, this angle. And then angle X, V, W is, no, X, V, Y is that angle over here. So these two angles. And the question is asking for us to figure out the name of this guy over here. This right here cuts the angle in half. That is why it is called angle bisector. So moving on to the next level, 
let's see what sort of question we are gonna have it's pretty much the same looks like the answer is going to be none of these that's I'm taking a guess right now let's see which term describes wi wi is right here it looks like it almost cuts the angle in half but the angles are not equal if they're not equal I'm not talking about an angle bisector Altitude means you need a 90 degrees angle. Median means the side XZ should be cut in half, but I don't know if they are cut in half, so I cannot say it is median. There's no 90 degrees, so there's only one option left. It's none of these. Moving on to the next level, probably the last question. Okay, let's say this is going to be the last one. Which line segment is an angle bisector? So if I'm talking about an angle bisector, I need one angle to be cut in health and I see that angle over here that's my angle and the segment that cuts this angle in health is called FC or CF the order doesn't matter you can either put segment FC or segment CF both would be correct so that's all for this lesson M3 identifying medians altitudes angle bisectors and perpendicular bisectors Thanks for watching guys, I will see you in another video and remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you still did not do it. Uh, that way you can get notifications whenever I share a video regarding your assignments. Thanks again and I will see you in another video.